This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. So I'm looking forward to the adjustments when, that will be made. When I look at the Bucks and I, and I see how they play today, I wonder what could they do better? What adjustments That's would what they I make? Know. Because pretty much the Celtics got everything they wanted. They scored in the paint. They out-rebounded. Kyrie, who's supposed to be a focal point of your scout report, did whatever he wanted. But Coach Bud, obviously, a great coach. So what do you do? He definitely has to play better. But as a team, I don't, I don't, I don't know where Milwaukee goes from here. Because what are you? I, whoa, 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 whoa! So listen, is this over? No, listen. I think it's over. The series is over. Yeah, they One lost game. You just sat there and said that they could win an NBA championship. Yeah, I did say that. But, but One game. I think styles make fights in boxing. <laughs> boxing. We know the style of both teams before the series started. Yeah, but it just seemed like Milwaukee was a way better team throughout the regular season. But when I watch this, when I watch this today, if Giannis doesn't have a monster game and somebody else behind, besides him doesn't step up, Boston is just going to out talent. Look to rebound after losing game one at home by 22 points to the Celtics. Paul, you told America right after that game on Sunday, you think this series is over already. Over. By the way, the copy in here says essentially over. You didn't say essentially over. You said this is over. Are you still 100% confident, confident the Bucks can't come back and win? I mean, they may win a game, maybe two. But I just look at the talent <laughs> disparity on these two ball clubs. Look at our faces. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> Those Boston Celtics fans are right now. told me after your game one loss that your team was going to get back to playing Bucks basketball, and you have. How did this team's approach change in these last four games? I think our, our mindset changed. I think in the first game, we wasn't focused enough. We wasn't ourselves. I think in the uh, next four games, we came out. We came with a different approach, a different mindset, a killing mindset, and uh, we was able to win these four games. Should the Cavs want Rose back? Nah, they shouldn't. Charles has been there. I've been there. Uh, unfortunately, Derrick Rose is not the Derrick Rose of the past. He's at the end of his career. He is playing on a good team, so hopefully he can He can contribute. be a good locker room yes. guy. Yeah. Because hopefully they got a very is. young team. He can be a good locker room guy. But listen, I like Derrick Rose, but it's over. Can't catch a break, can he, Stephen A? Let me ask you this. Are you worried about his future? <sighs> yes, I am. Mm. Skip Bayless. Uh, this is obviously, uh, you're sad for an entirely different reason, but nevertheless sad altogether because Derrick Rose, as far as I'm concerned, is finished. Derrick Rose has missed 212 in four seasons and played 106. It's great that Derrick Rose had a nice night, but he's shooting 39% the last three years. He is a low assist point guard and not an elite defender. He had a super duper game last night. Just like sometimes LeBron is awful, but it doesn't define what he is. I don't need your validation. Like I know who I am. I know what type of player I am. To the Utah Jazz here tonight and they start the third quarter on a high note. Rose attacks, challenges Gobert and Gobert couldn't get there in time. Billy's playing well for Sacramento. 21 points for Billy last night. Rose playing really well for the Timberwolves. Being able to get back out to cover Ingles. First assist of the night for Gobert. Rose continuing to attack. Pretty interesting, Jim, that the Jazz and the Timberwolves, they won't meet again until the new year. Rose now up to 27. Don't love me, I need more cowbell. Love the anchor man as well. Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose just keeps putting them in. To the pot. Rose. Derrick Rose has 41. One off of his NBA career high. Rose out of the corner, and it's a new career high for Derrick Rose. That's crazy.
50. A half a century for Exum has it blocked in the corner by who else? Derek, 2011 MVP. In the last three years, is shooting 39%. Derrick Rose is completely overrated, but because he is occasionally spectacular, people buy into Derrick Rose. How does he look this year as Derrick Rose hits a three? Dimes down the lane, he won the Wooden Award. We didn't speak. Rose comes up with a loose ball. Rose, line drive. But he's also unstoppable down low. Rose launches and hits Derrick Rose. Largest lead of the game for the Lakers. James harassing Wiggins. his way through the playoffs and yada 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 listen this man is right now he's the most overrated in basketball is he a good basketball player yeah, i love him i love him i like him I'm i sick. like what he i'm sick you are hey, hey, you're going from hating on Kawhi absolutely. to hating on Giannis. Giannis isn't overrated he's absolutely Please overrated. proceed okay. tell me how okay. he's overrated okay. goes down you can have guys that are sitting up there outside every now and then they're gonna take it the bottom line is kevin durant is a better pure shooter than Kawhi. he's a better pure shooter than ad the greek freak ain't even a part of the discussion the 2019 Kia NBA Most Valuable Valuable Player goes to. What is your goal for your career? I want to be the NBA NBA player. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, you should be worried. You should be very worried because it's one game into the series, and I'm already hit ready. To, I'm already ready to declare this series is over. They can't beat these boys. I'm going to tell you that right now. Just watch. <laughs> they were I'm, winning I'm for most right of the game. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it, see, I'm not going to go Paul Pierce on you and tell you the series is over. Like, oh my God, they're going to get swept or anything like that. I'm just saying the conclusion is what it is. Milwaukee is just a bit too big. But my proclamation is that the Toronto Raptors do not have enough offensive firepower to offset what Milwaukee will inevitably well, I, be I able think... to throw at them. What's at stake here in game two for the Raptors tonight? To me, everything, this series. I think if they lose this game, I don't think this series goes past five, five games because I could see Milwaukee going to Canada and at least stealing one of those two games. And then they come back here and they close them out. They continue it in the postseason. Two games are enough for me to say this is a wrap. What do you see? It definitely is a wrap. I can't see Toronto winning more than one game this series. I actually said it was over after game one because in that game, Kawhi Leonard had 31, Kyle Lowry had 30, Milwaukee shot just 25% from three-point range, 11 for 44 if I remember correctly, yep. and still won the damn game. So I figured, <laughs> you know what, there's no way on earth yeah. after a week of rust and them still finding a way to beat you that they were going to lose. And they can feel it here. They will be headed to the NBA Finals. Milwaukee just took a timeout. And the Raptors will go up against the two-time defending champion Golden State Warriors. Congratulations to the 2019 Eastern Conference champions, Toronto Raptors. I'm stunned. I thought it was over after game one. 
I'm not sure who's gonna win the East. You're wrong, and you know it. Milwaukee's definitely gonna win the East. Oh well, I don't think you. I don't think you can say definitely gonna win the East. Yeah, I think they're. Win the East. I think they're probably the favorites. You talking about regular season? I'm talking about the whole thing. You no, talking about the whole thing? Yeah, I'm talking about playoffs. Oh, wow. Yeah. So because, um, because Toronto, I don't trust because they have a missing link that's been missing for the last four or five years. They have. They got a superstar Boston. now. Yeah, it takes more than one superstar. You should know that. That's why you never won. Entirely separate, and apart from that, we'll go from there. Number two, when you talk about the Golden State Warriors, you know what? My answer would be, no, it's not too much for them to overcome. Not tomorrow night. Last game at the Oracle? You know, last game in history? <laughs> On their home court? So I'm taking into account the Oracle, it's game six. It's the last game in history. I'm taking the three days rest as opposed to two days rest. I'm thinking about the fact that you're going to have not just energy, not just rest, but adrenaline. I'm thinking you can ride that wave. You are up 3-1. You didn't have a city rooting for you. You got a nation. And then all of a sudden, a three from Clay. Yeah. A three from Steph. Yeah. A three from Clay. Yeah. And it was a ref. I believe that Kawhi Leonard could play every bit as good in the finals. And if Steph Curry explodes, it don't matter. It don't matter. Steph Curry will have a greater impact towards victory. No, Steph Curry no. get rolling. It's a wrap. No. Me, I, I, go, fact, I, go, Max, I go this far. Kawhi Leonard could play the same way he's played. If Steph Curry plays the way we saw him play against Portland, Toronto might get swept. No, and I'll tell you why. How about that? It's John. Leonard makes it official. Now the Warriors just inbound, and that's it. There's a new NBA champion, and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. We the North are now we the champions. The Raptors, the 2019 NBA champs.